Hey guys, Nurse Blake here, and welcome to SimpleNursing.com. Before we start today's video, please remember to access your free quiz and preview our new study guides not on YouTube. Click the link right up here anytime during this video. All right, let's begin. What's up guys, I'm Nurse Blake, and today we're wrapping up both hyper and hypoparathyroidism. They are those little round button looking glands that sit on the back of the thyroid near the neck. These little dudes can cause so many problems with calcium, but we'll cover that in our patho section. So let's break down the terms. Hyper means high and hypo means low. Para means alongside and then thyroid means, well, thyroid. So hyper anything always means overactive like a hyper person. And hypo is the exact opposite, underactive, like a super boring person. The parathyroid glands are almost exclusively responsible for the regulation of blood calcium. So think PC, like a computer. P is for parathyroid and C is for calcium. And the levels are typically 9.0 to 10.5. However, some books will say 8.5 to 10.0. So be sure to know what your textbook says. The main point is the calcium, guys. If the parathyroid hormone is high, that means calcium is high. And when the parathyroid is low, what is the calcium? Yes, low. So hyperparathyroid means hypercalcemia and hypoparathyroid means hypocalcemia. That's why I remember PTH the parathyroid hormone, as an acronym, PTH, puts the calcium high. Think of a thermostat or a light switch. This is called our negative feedback loop. When calcium's high, PTH shuts off. And then when calcium's low, PTH turns on. But remember, PTH puts the calcium high in the blood. Now, how does it do this? Calcium is increased in the blood by three ways. So remember the acronym RIB, R-I-B. R is for renals which reabsorbs calcium, so it's not lost in the potty. I is for intestines. They help to increase blood calcium by absorbing it from food in the help of vitamin D activation. This is a big tip right here, guys, so please write this down. Both calcium and magnesium love vitamin D, and they all work together. So you'll often see calcium, magnesium, and vitamin D all in the same multivitamin. And B is for bone, since our hard bones are made up mostly of calcium. And when your body needs more calcium, it usually drains the bones to get it. So with too much PTH and hyperparathyroidism, there is too much calcium in the blood. It's like every organ is being squeezed for their calcium. Like PTH is the bully taking all their lunch money. Remember, PTH puts the calcium high, so blood calcium goes goes up, right? So we have stones, moans, and groans. Stones in the kidneys, moans from broken bones, and groans from rock hard bowels. So PTH makes bones weak by taking calcium from their storages. This makes them brittle, meaning big risk for fractures. Okay, so the kidneys, the washer machines of the blood, have to filter out all that excess calcium from the body and into the potty. But they get overloaded, and we get kidney stones, aka renal calculi, from all that overload of calcium. And lastly, our GI, Mr. GI Joe. Our intestinal tract gets overloaded with calcium, causing rock hard bowels, a common sign and symptom of hypercalcemia. Too much calcium. Okay, so remember the top three signs of hypercalcemia are usually stones for kidney stones, moans for fractured bones, and groans for constipation. So, guys, again, for hyperparathyroid, remember hypercalcemia. Everything is swollen and slow with high, high calcium. And for hypoparathyroid, that means hypocalcemia. Remember Baja, California from low, low calcium. And as you can see, we used our electrolyte emoji, Mr. Cocky Calcium, from our electrolyte course. Now the signs and symptoms are so easy, right? Because hyperparathyroid patients will look exactly like hypercalcemia patients. Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click up right here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts for helping us make these great videos. See you guys next time.